I think today I'm just feeling sad and discouraged. And so if you follow me on Instagram, you have a little bit of an idea of what I've been going through. So I am sitting in my car down um, on Beach Drive in West Seattle, which is one of my favorite places to come and just think and be with myself, I guess. So let me back up and tell you what's going on if you don't know. A couple weeks ago, I went into the doctor because I was having some swelling in my left side groin, which is where I was diagnosed with metastatic cancer of an unknown primary source five years ago. I had a tumor in one of my lymph nodes in my left inguinal area, and it was metastatic. Um, and so they never found the primary tumor. It's very rare, but it does happen. I started having pain in that area probably like a couple weeks ago and it felt like some of my lymph nodes were swollen again but really I was having a lot of left side body pain for the last um six months I've already been into my doctor and I was talking to her about it um but then I got really busy with work and kind of just let it slide so went in with this pain and she referred me to get a pelvic and um transvaginal ultrasound and I went and did that last Tuesday. Gosh, was it last Tuesday? A week and a half ago? Yeah, a week and a half ago. Um, and I could tell right away that she found something or she saw something just by her questions. And because this is just definitely, this is not something that is new to me. Um, I can just tell she was asking me these very specific questions. And um, so she... And then she left and went and showed the radiologist and came back in with more questions. And I'm like, oh, they found something. So she was like, oh, we'll probably give you, get you the results in a couple days. Um, an hour later, my doctor's nurse calls me and she is like, have you checked your my chart yet? And I was like, no, I didn't even know I had a message. So, so I ran inside, checked my my chart. My test results were already back. My primary care doctor had written me with the results and she said that I had an inguinal hernia, but I also had a pelvic mass adher adherent to the pelvic wall. And my heart just sank. I felt like I was gonna throw up. <laughs> a radiologist had said that he, um, it was very concerning that I should get an MRI. So then I sent all of my information over to my um, other doctors who is a gynecological oncologist because um, I've been seeing them because I have something called Lynch syndrome, which I, if you watched the previous video, you um, heard a little bit more about, about that. But just to recap, it's a genetic mutation of one of your five rep repair genes. I have MSH2. It gives me a um, very high chance of getting cancer. I've already had basically stage zero colon cancer and then metastatic cancer, unknown primary source, and then I've had multiple skin cancers. My mom's had four cancers. My brother's had colon cancer at 26. Um, so we have been on this journey for about 20 years. So then there was just a lot of back and forth with <laughs> getting all of the information to um, the oncology department and they didn't get all of the tests at first so they didn't see them at all so originally they got back to me and said it was nothing concerning and I was like well did you see the mass um, and then she's like oh I didn't even see that part of the test she's like yeah that is really concerning let me see what your other oncologist doctor um, wants if he wants you to do an MRI or just skip straight to a biopsy a little more backstory, I had a hysterectomy with this oncologist. He's a surgical oncologist, um, gynecological oncology. And he did my hysterectomy a year and a half ago, which was preventative, but it came back and it showed um, pre-cancerous or pre -cancer cells, lesions. So it was good that I had that out. So <laughs> it's always really hard to tell this story because there's so much information that goes into it. And I feel like I can just talk for hours and hours and hours about it. Now I am waiting 
I was waiting for authorization from my insurance company and I got that. And so now I'm waiting for the CT um, imaging to get a hold of me to get my CT scan scheduled. I just went into my doctor today to talk to her more and have some, um, just some other tests. I have some other things going on. And she was just very blunt with me and felt, feels pretty strongly that it is cancer. Just to be clear, I rather my doctors give me worst case scenario and then have it turn out to be nothing than um, fill me with all this hope that it's nothing and then have it turn out to be something. Uh, that's probably my trauma, but that is how I operate. Now, I am still just waiting to get my CT scan and it's Friday, so who knows if I'll hear from them and then I'm going out of town on Monday until Thursday so honestly I'm still probably looking at a few weeks before I even get this imaging yeah it sucks I'm tired I was up most of the night with my cat who has asthma and he was having an asthma attack and was sleeping right on me um and so I think today I'll get the little work the bare minimum work that I have to get done done and then I'm just going to rest and I have markets this weekend I'm trying to be better about bringing my camera everywhere and just jumping on when I feel called to talk I look very tired and I am very tired I'm pretty emotional today um, I have so many thoughts running through my mind I'd say if I had to put money on it it's probably gonna come back as cancer and then that just opens me up to so many other questions will there be surgery will I have to have treatment I already went through radiation which stunk um, will I lose my hair if I have to do chemo <laughs> so anyways I'll pop I'll pop back in this weekend and talk a little bit more but I just felt like recording that right now and I'm just going to watch the ferry boats for a little while. Did you miss your mama? Yeah. Because I went on vacation. Yeah, you don't like it when I leave. Came home to Louis destroying the corner of the sledge. So, so I just got back from Palm Springs and um, got a little bit of sun. So I'm trying to figure out the best way for me to do these vlogs. Um, and I realized that if I wait for myself to be all showered and in makeup and look my best, it's just not gonna happen. I need to film these whenever I feel called to do so. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you're just gonna probably get more of the real me, which is this, um, than the put together version. Um, I thought I would actually film more when I was there, but I was just really trying to be with my family. Um, I was down there visiting my brother, my younger brother and my sister-in-law who are down there for about a month um, while their house is being remodeled up here. And my nieces and just had the best time and I, I needed it so bad. It was the first time I had gone on an airplane in two years because of the pandemic like so many other people and yeah I'm just really grateful and I feel a new found just excitement for creating I was pretty burnt out that's a whole other video right just talking about like the burnout of being an artist and a creative 
but that's not this fear is an example of really advocating for yourself too and for listening to your gut um, I had sent my results I read my results over I saw that there was a hernia and um, a pelvic mass I read it I sent it to my um, the nurse practitioner in oncology and I told her that they found a mass that I need to come in and she got the results and she wrote me back and she's like there's only a hernia and um, you're fine there's no need to concern no there's no need to be concerned um, and just have your GP refer you to somebody who can do surgery and repair your hernia if you want to do that and I was like what that's no there's I read it myself there's a pelvic mass so I wrote her back and I'm like no there's a pelvic mass and I'm like maybe you didn't get all of the results so I wrote my GP and she was like what there's a there's a mass there and she must have not have read all of the results over so she sent her a message and she wrote me then my the nurse practitioner wrote me back and she's like yeah there is a mass there this is this is very concerning video today she either just like read it over too fast and didn't see that part um, or she didn't get all the results I will never know the truth but whatever then she talked to the oncologist um, and he actually wanted me to get a CT scan so um, they put in authorization through my insurance and um, when they got that they sent it or they sent it over to the imaging department at the hospital I go to and they sent it over without a signature <laughs> so then it was like gosh another few days of back and forth and then we went into the weekend and then I went on vacation finally on vacation I reached out to them and I just said this is getting like really ridiculous and you know we're going to be pushing a month here soon since I found out I had this mass I don't know how long it's been there I don't know what it is like I need to have an appointment for a CT scan and I need it very soon and um, so finally I get through last Friday I call um, I call the imaging center and she's like well we're still waiting from authorization for authorization from your insurance company which can take another 14 days and I'm like you have got to be kidding me so now we are in early March for my appointment she's like well we can make your appointment so I had it for March 4th and I'm like about ready to lose my effing mind because it, you know like anytime you find out you have something that is potentially cancer inside of you you just you want it removed and you want it removed yesterday I hang up after she tells me we'll call back next week we'll you know maybe the authorization will go through and um, we can get you in sooner so I hang up and I go talk to my brother and I'm just like I'm so freaking frustrated right now um, and then I come back inside and I see that I have a missed phone call from the imaging department and I check the message and she's like, Oh, when I put in the order again, um, or I completed the, the reservation. Yeah, this is not a reservation. The appointment, um, it showed that you had authorization. So give me a call back so we can make you an appointment for sooner. So I, call back and now I have an appointment for Monday February 14th happy Valentine's Day to me I am going to find out whether or not I have cancer so that is what is going on and I am just trying to stay present as much as I can um, it's not easy I have gone everywhere from Oh my gosh what if I have terminal cancer to um, like I could just get through whatever this is uh, to just totally forgetting about it and getting lost in work and playing with my nieces down on um, in my on my trip I think the hardest thing is that I have no idea what the next few months are going to hold and so I don't I don't know how to plan for my life right now and there are so many markets that I want to do, but I don't know if I'll be in some kind of cancer treatment. So I'm just focusing more on furniture flipping right now and finishing some projects around my place that I want to show you all. And this channel is going to be 
an interesting unraveling, I guess, because obviously if I'm going through cancer, I'm going to talk about that and share about that because that's just what I believe in. That's my, like, part of my value system is sharing. I also want to share all the, the, the creative stuff I do. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I'll find out Monday. So the next video will be of me telling you what I learn. So if you want to hear whether or not I have cancer, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and hit the little bell. And I will see you next time when I have my results.